We're gonna be making some bread today and some cheesecake today. And I have a special guest today. Look who my special guest is. What the fuck? Can you put me down, please? Today, for Hong Kong bakery style bread, it's more of a enriched dough. So lots of egg, lots of sugar, lots of butter. Okay, so we're gonna start with the bread. So this is regular bread flour. And this is 215 grams cornstarch, seven grams, seven grams milk powder. And the next one is sugar. So we need 45 grams of this. Oh shit, the scale just turned off. What's, what's, what's 45 subtract two? 43. Salt, you only need two grams. Sugar is on one end. You wanna put the salt on the other end. Wait, Oni bro, can you put on, can you put the, my, my milk here? Okay, uh, four grams. So for the pile where the sugar is, place your yeast over the sugar. Now it's time for the liquids. So I'm gonna do 30 grams evaporated milk and 30 grams water. And 25 grams eggs. And I am Chinese, so I beat my eggs with a chopstick, like a regular person. So I'll just go fuck myself then. For eggs, because they do get to clump together, so pour it very, very slowly. And I'm gonna put this on the side later for my egg wash. This is a wutane, the starter that I made earlier, and also my poolish. See, it's already kind of like fermented and doughy. That's what you want. And then we can turn the bread, bread maker on. <gasps> I just spilled water all over my table. Technical, technical difficulties, guys. I got water in my butter. We're gonna turn on the mixer. Set your timer to 10 minutes and put it on low. The table is jamming to the music. Is it moving really, like, terribly? I can't really tell because my monitor, I thought, oh, we're gonna add the butter now. Room temperature, you do not want butter cold. If the butter is cold, it's hard. So right now it's at level two. I'm gonna crank it up to a level four now. It will get a little louder. How much is Geary milk? <laughs> a carton of Geary milk is 350 Canadian. I'm gonna run out soon. I have to restock 10 times already, guys. I had 10 people come to me and say, I'll take your entire stock. I cannot milk fast enough. I think the dough looks good. Look how stretchy it is now. Yeah. So to make sure that the dough is nice and smooth, you wanna just kind of like fold it on itself like this and use the spatula, use the flat side, and then you wanna push it so that it forms a nice seal underneath. And then you wanna keep rotating it like that. This is the finished dough. I'm gonna put it in the proofer. So that's the dough. This is, this is you, chat. Bad chat. Put your butt here. Uh. Spank it harder? Uh, uh. Okay, that's enough. No more spanking. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna make is the cookie for the pineapple bun. 50 grams unsalted butter, and then just cream it. You just wanna mix it so that it's like nice and even. Nothing sussy about creaming the butter, just creaming it, making it nice and creamy. We're, we're just creaming, chat. Okay, so 80 grams sugar. Flip it gently, so flip it up and press it down. As you continue, it will slowly start to mix. So now we're gonna need one egg yolk. Toss the egg yolks back and forth. So creaming some more, 100 grams flour. You rather watch Oni Bro cream and not me? You need this ingredient, which is baker's ammonia. If you are able to get this, I highly recommend that you, you get this. One quarter teaspoon baking powder and one quarter teaspoon of this thing. So baking powder, this is one quarter teaspoon. And then we'll continue with the mixing, slicing it vertically and then scooping it. So now that it's clumping a little bit, I'm gonna use my hands now. So now we made the pineapple crust. So this is the cookie part. We're gonna roll it into a log. Oh, it looks like a beige colored poo poo. Can you put this in the fridge for me? <laughs> Thank you, Oni bro. Okay, cheesecake. I'm making mango basque cheesecake. For cheesecake, it's quite simple because you just mix everything into one bowl and that's pretty much it. Two eggs, cream cheese. I took this out all last night, so everything is equal temperature. Um, of the, what's the temperature? 250. 200 grams. So we're gonna take the rest of this, put it in here. That's gonna be cream cheese, mix, cream cheese mixture. 70 grams cream. 40 grams mango puree. I wanna start mixing it a little bit. So two eggs. 63 grams sugar and six grams cornstarch. All right, so this is done. It's quite smooth, not smooth at all. What the fuck is this? I actually prepared the pan already. Sam, how are you? Oh shit, that's my proofer. Okay, tap it. 
and I'll put it in the oven. Oven is at 250 degrees Celsius and set the timer for 19 minutes. Look how big it is now. If you poke your fingers down and the coal does not close, then that means that your dough is perfectly proofed. So we're gonna put some flour on top so our hands don't stick. Three, two, one. Uh, okay, we're gonna dump it out or it just never comes out. Interesting. Uh, uh, uh. So today I'm making three flavors, three of each flavor. So that's a total of nine, if my math is correct. Total weight of the bread, 575. 575 divided by nine, 63.8. 69. Ah, 69. Double fist your doughs and roll it into like a circle. So we need the dough to rest for 15 minutes. So in this time, we're probably gonna mix the corn filling for filling. I'm gonna do mayo corn. It's literally just Japanese mayonnaise and some sugar. However much you think is appropriate. That looks like a good amount. The sugar, again, eyeball it. And then I forgot to bring a spoon. So I'm just gonna use my knife. So we can shape the buns now. For pineapple buns, it's the easiest. It's just literally a circle. So you just deflate it a little bit. Get some flour on both sides so it doesn't stick. And then fold it in itself and then just make it into a nice little circle. And the pineapple buns will be done after that. Okay, we're gonna make the ham and cheese ones now. So we're gonna have to use a rolling pin for this. If your rolling pin doesn't work, just use your hands. So I have a piece of ham and I have a piece of cheese. Then, theoretically, if I cut it this way and I cut it this way, and if I roll it like this, rolling on the sides, theoretically, we should be able to get a rose. That's kind of like a rose, right guys? So there's one more rose done. So we have the roses finished. I'm gonna change into a different pan. The corner is really easy. So I'm just gonna roll it out flat and then I'm gonna press down in the middle. It's kind of like how you make pizza. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle. I'm gonna put both these trays back in the proofer. So for second proofing, we're gonna have to proof for another 45 minutes. Okay, um, Oni Bro, could you put the cheesecake in the fridge? You know what, wrap the top and put it in the freezer. Oh, they're so puffy now. So I'm gonna just give me a minute while I kind of warm it up with my hands a little bit. So in terms of the size, it's something like this. Choose a size that you think is appropriate. So put it in between the, the saran wrap and press it down with your hands a little bit and then just roll it out with a rolling pin. You want it big enough where it can kind of pom pom. I'm talking. You can see how I kind of draped it over. Trick to test if it's proofed well enough. If you touch it, it should indent and bounce back a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do the egg wash. And the baking time is usually about 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, that's five minutes. All right, let me change the tray around so it's even heating. Oh yeah, it's definitely ready. I don't mean to be cooking you guys on purpose by showing you a glimpse of the bread and taking it away. This is just so that I don't burn my table. And to add a little visual intrigue, I'm gonna do a mayo squirt and then I'm gonna do the uh, furikake on top. Okay, so this is furikake. This is just to make it look a little prettier, that's all. And then again, five minutes, switch it around and do another five minutes. Okay, it's, it's kind of very hot. I'm just gonna ramble it because I am not a pussy. Pineapple bun, cheese and ham rose bun, corn, mayo bun. This is the corn with the furikake and mayo. Mm. Mm. It's so soft, it's so pillowy. I'm gonna eat this one. Mm. Mm. I'm so salty and creamy. We're gonna try the pineapple bun now. Mm. Mm. It's crunchy, really sweet, and really milky. So again, this was in the freezer. Normally, I do not recommend putting it in the freezer. Minimum three hours in the fridge, preferably overnight. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, it's so creamy. I'm gonna end the stream here. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys for coming. Goodbye.